right toe, everyone. I don't know what happened, but my game just crashed. It said my graphics driver were out of date, but it wasn't, I checked. Anyway, I downloaded it completely new, and then apparently now. it worked now. And uh, it hasn't lagged for now because I changed something in the AMD Adrenaline editor thing. I hear you. Well, that ain't wrong. So let's try to do the blood check. Well, that back angle oh crap! A uh, speech check. Damn it! <laughs> I'm dumb. You got a point. I'll give you that. Maybe one day you'll need the ranges on your side. Could be beneficial. True that. I know there's a way to get past this. That's what I'm hoping. Well, I suppose I could make an exception. It's just this once, you understand. It just promise me you'll keep my compassionate nature a secret. If folks might try to take advantage. Yay, finally. That was... That was quite a difficult... Try something, and I'll air you out. Yeah, can I please? Thanks. That was quite a difficult speech check. But... We've done that. Cool. Finish him. We did. screens. I know. I know, I know. Yeah, I can hear music. Wow. Oh, anyway, let's get back to Billy and tell him he's free of debt. Uh, 
I'll run now. Maybe later. She's too good for Neon. Sounds like she's trying to help someone or something. Honestly, I kind of tuned her out. Goodman's with the syndicate, but he's on. Well, you talk to Goodman. Yep. Uh, okay, sure. Got no reason not to trust you. I'm sure the deputy has a reason for withholding that information. Sometimes, in our line of work, it's better not to know all of the details. I hate to admit it, but he's right. Neon is its own special animal. Okay. Time for me to keep my end of the bargain. The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit. And she's been throwing money around, so must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. We just come by there. Nix's apartment? No. Sounds nice. Sounds enjoyable. I don't know what's wrong with me, but Neon might be my favorite place to visit. Cheaper than buying it at the Astro Lounge. Now, this is the last time I'm gonna ask. Then I'm walking away. Do you want this stuff or not? Fine, fine. I'll transfer the credits and you can leave it in the usual place. Right. Hey, I'm busy. You want the good stuff? Try somewhere else. All right. Excuse me. Uh, city. Am I right? Oh, great. Just who I don't want to see. A free star ranger and his... What are you? A sidekick or something? Yeah. Something like that. Now that's what I call real conviction. So how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the ranger? This is the deputy's case. Is that so? And you had to bring back up just for little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. Please, I just need some information. Nah, I don't know. You had run-ins with the law before? A time or two. Maybe more. And yet here I am, walking free. There's no need to make this difficult. <laughs> that 
remains to be seen. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you... That sound about right? I know you stole the ship and you're going to tell me why. Um, people might be in danger. Maybe she will react to that. All right. So I jacked a ship. It was just a little fun. I didn't even keep it. It was a job. I turned it over to some men and they took off for who knows where. End of story. Nothing I did put anyone in danger, okay? Those men tried to run a farmer off her land. That's unfortunate. But I don't know anything about it. Can't say I'm surprised, though. You know how it is out here. The strong take what they want from the weak. You're real cold-blooded, aren't you? If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No, I, I guess I didn't. So, come on, tell me what you know. It, it's not that simple. Just tell me and I'll get out of your hair. You're just annoying enough that this might work. I knew you'd like to help me. And what's the harm anyway? No, I can't. Sorry. Uh, I knew you'd like to help me. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. Uh, I wouldn't be asking if it wasn't important. Maybe I can make an exception. Oh, sure you can. Yeah. I hope so. I give you my word. I guess if I can't trust a Free Star Ranger, then I can't trust anyone, right? Yep. I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the First, and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech, and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. So... We were deep into planning the job, and she had some kind of medical emergency. Okay. She said she needed surgery, and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. Haven't heard from her since. Go on. Uh, did she say where she was being treated? No, but it sounded serious. She was upset. Seemed kind of shaken, you know? Didn't seem right I should pry, so I didn't. Did Maya say why the first needed the optic ship? Only some kind of offhanded comment about their client wanting to expand the operation ahead of schedule. In my line of work, you learn not to ask a lot of questions. It tends to make people uncomfortable. So why would you agree to such a risky job? <laughs> you serious? Yeah. Take your pick. Money? Reputation? The thrill of it? All good reasons. True. Not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here, take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? Yeah. Did anyone in the first give you a way to contact? No. Nothing at all. Left me feeling a little disappointed, given how well they paid me. Did Marco ever give you his location? Not so much as a hint. I'll tell you. He's as cagey a fixer as I've ever met. Bankroll the first must take a lot of money. I'm sure he's got all kinds of side hustles going on. What do you know about the man that you delivered the ship to? Nothing, really. I was told when and where to meet them. They paid me what I was owed, and that was it. All right. I appreciate your cooperation. Yeah, sure. Next time you're at the Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone can crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, Deputy. Then I'm free to go. You're free. Thanks for your help. Oh. Uh. Welcome? 
Guess I ain't used to the law being so polite. Right, so it's off to a Cadeless City once again. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bad part of town, buddy. Why, though? I'm gonna do you a favor. Head back to Bayou Plaza before the disciples get you. Who are these disciples? A gang. Worst gang there is. They'll stab you for kicks, taking bets on how long you squeal before you bleed out. Okay. And that's not a hyper whatchamacallit. They seriously did that. <laughs> Poor Ted. Appreciate the warning. We gotta look out for each other, right? Us crate rats used to think the Ebside strikers were awful. With all the muggings and shakedowns, but... Now that they're on the ropes... I wish they weren't just hold up and Madame Savage. Is this the adoring fan? Bad. But 20 years Damn older? Bad. Well, you'll find them at Madame Savage's. They're always holding auditions, as they call it. Looking for new blood. So, for being so helpful, chance for a donation. Come on, might be saving my life. What with the disciples and all? I have a heart. Oh, well, come on. Hey, thanks. Uh, look, I mean it. Go back to the plaza. Ain't nothing but shit and misery over here. You're in the right place, baby. Hey, there's some little side missions I could do here. Right? There's no way in hell I'm letting Coraline here. I probably wouldn't allow that either. What are you looking at? This? This is Ebside Striker's turn. I know. Only the upstairs. Don't bother my customers. Fine, upstairs. That's gang territory, got it? Sure. This is what's missing these days. This. It's called respect. Yeah, you used to be people were afraid of the strikers. We had a name, got it? Now the disciples got us penned up in this lousy bar. Andrea. Fine, fine, fine. This beautiful establishment. Do you have anything else, or are we done with this? Whatever this is. I've heard of you, Jang. Uh, what are the disciples like? I mean, the strikers will rob you blind, and if you back us in a corner, you're gonna bleed. But the disciples? Total nutjob animals. They torture people for kicks. And the only people that kept them from getting out of control? Us. And now we're all but ruined. That sounds horrible. Tell me about the Epside Strikers. We were one of the big dogs. We could take what we wanted and no one gave us shit. And Briggs? Total class act. 
Not a psycho like the disciples. Now look at us. Hurry, gang. I need to talk to the person in charge, please. So you stroll in here and want to meet with Briggs? The nerve. Maybe you should meet with the business end of my shiv, huh, tourist? No blood in my shop, Andrea. I am this close to tossing the lot of you out on the street. Fine, fine already. You're lucky. Only way you see Briggs is if you, uh, want to join the upside strikers. All right. What's so funny? Oh, nothing. Joining us now is great. People are banging down our door to go down with this ship. Yeah, I wonder why. You know, I'll just do that. Right now. This ought to be good. Sure, let's go meet the boss. Uh, if only it were that easy. Hey, get away from me. Are you coming, lady? Hello? office. He's even got a dartboard. Cool. Strikers look this? out for one another, right? Someone says they might want to join. A recruit? It's been a while. I know, right? Spaj says we can't go killing people around here anymore. We shouldn't be doing that anyhow. You want to join us? Yeah. You understand that, right? Sort of? Not some daring adventure bullshit you can brag to your friends about. We steal, we mug, we kill if we have to. People that come to us have usually run out of options. So are you really interested? I'm only here to deal with the disciples. There was a time when we were the only ones that kept those psychos in line. I'll get to that. Let me tell you about us. What makes the Strikers different is we're family. It's us against every goddamn thing the world can throw at us. If you're in, we'll go through hell and back for you. It's been a little too much of that hell going round. Vogel, not the time. We do everything we can to make sure everyone's got a roof overhead and fish in their belly. I prefer we fleece the marks, not kill them. Better for everyone in the long run. But you do what you gotta do. Why do you keep the gang from killing people? Ebside is where all the loser and sad stories end up once Neon and Administrator Bayou has used them up. Surviving here ain't easy. Sometimes blood's got to flow just to get food based on your plate. But we only take what we have to. Okay. Not so fast. I gotta get to know you first. What would you bring to the Strikers? Uh, I, uh, uh, well, I, uh, I'm a problem solver. Very useful. I like it. Done anything special? Something that might impress us? I haven't killed you yet. Right. So you're one of those stargazers. <laughs> sure. They visit here all the time. I'm not sure what your game is, but if you really want to join, there's a test. You're going up against the Disciples. Oh. Everyone in Ebside's been chewed up and ground up by Neon. Some people snap, and snap hard. The Disciples are maniacs, pure and simple. The test is to find out who has been arming those nutjobs with military-grade hardware. Oh, okay. We're fully in alignment there. The Disciples have been and are a real, real problem. The Strikers may be the only option to deal with. 
There's a warehouse they use. One of our friends said there's a slate there that has the info we need. Oh, that's my job. It's going to go in and make them pay. You want it? Too bad, Vogel. You go in there, and it's a bloodbath. I want someone that can snatch it from them. Ideally with them never even knowing it happened. Consider this your audition. Try not to get killed, new fish. Oh, great. Don't blow it. It took weeks to find this lead. Um, so in order to find a person, we have like to, to talk to a gang, which we have to enroll to, which gives us a test, which makes us probably kill more people. I mean, I sure like RPGs, but it's kind of weird and sometimes just a little annoying to see that uh, the missions are branching up so much. Then again, it's Bethesda, so, you know. Terrorgroom, nice. I'd like some. Speak with me only if you have what it takes to do track work. Every vice can be indulged, and they make up new vices every Thursday. Okay, let's settle this once and for all. Velocity or Chimera? You kidding? Chimera, all day. Why do you think I'm here? I don't know. Chimera's nice, but Velocity, that will get you hammered. See, you just proved my point. Down your third right. velocity, and you're out cold. By the third chimera, you're floating on frickin' cloud nine. I don't know about you, but that's where I'd rather be. Yeah, I guess you're right. Where the hell did Micah learn to mix a drink like that, anyway? Well, let's face it, some people are just... gifted. I thought it was... Uh... I thought we had to go in there. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, let's try. Let's try some stealthing.
We'll see if I can silently kill him. Nope. I can't. Nice, I level up. <clears throat> ah, too bad. Speak to Briggs, yay. That was quicker than I expected, though. Right, West Briggs. You got a thirst for uh, something. Neon can deliver. I wasn't doing anything. All right. Well, it's still lagging, but less than before. I'm fine with that. What it takes to survive. So, stealth was a no-go, but... <laughs> shit. You took all of them out. The strikers can use that. So, you're in. Everyone thinks the Epside Strikers are out for the count. But now that we know where the Disciples are getting their guns, I feel the tide is turning. Letter could help. Trying to score points with the boss. <laughs> Smart play, Newfish. 
You might want to say hello to the rest of the gang. They should be friendlier, or I'll make them friendlier. After you take some deserved R&R, &R, get a patchet for any gear you may need, and a job I got in mind for you. Nice, we got 4,000 credits. Now everyone, I gotta take a little break. My coffee's running out. I think you're gonna fit in well. Really well. Well, thanks, Briggs. Thanks for watching so far. I'm Gaming Cat Dad. See you soon.